Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, Tina and I are gonna get out here and play in the dirt, and we're gonna take care of what a lot of you have been asking us about. We're gonna plant the sweet potatoes, and we're gonna do it in their raised bed. So, you hang around until after the break, we'll show you how we did it. guys like I said today we're gonna get out here and get after these sweet potatoes but we're gonna need to take a trip out to the nursery first and uh, pick up our slips this is a local nursery um, I know a lot of people grow their own slips so we could too you know we could put put some sweet potatoes in a tub or uh, hang one off in the water but we also enjoy you know supporting our local companies and this is a local family run nursery we've been out there before and you guys if you follow the channel along you've come out there with us but we really can't beat they sell a, they sell 25 slips for three bucks and man you you just can't beat that so we're gonna take a run out there we're gonna visit with our friends and uh, we're gonna go see the nursery we're gonna speed the video footage up a little bit so uh, if you're uh, if you get dizzy hang on but we're gonna fly out there to the nursery real quick we're gonna pick up some slips we'll get back here and then we'll take care of planting these sweet potatoes <laughs> all right are you ready to go all right, we're off on our big adventure. Alright guys, we're back from the nursery and we've got our sweet potato slips. So we're going to head on over to the sweet potato bed and get those planted up. We're going to try to space them out a little bit better than we did last year. Last year we kind of crowded them and it hurt our final yield. So we're going to space these out a little bit. Tina's getting some of these other plants out of the way. Going to put them in the shade. But we got some really good slips so we're going to head over there and get these in the ground while they're still fresh. All right, guys, I'm going to bring you back in here real quick before we get too far. But uh, what we've done is we've come in six inches from the edge and put a circle, then came in a foot, put a circle, came in another foot, put a circle. And uh, that'll ensure that we get about a foot in between each plant. And uh, we did them a lot closer last year, but we're going to try to get a foot in between each plant and a foot in between each row. So the next step, now that we've got it marked off all the way around, is to get our planting holes dug. So we're gonna go ahead and get those put in 12 inches apart. We're gonna plant the slips as deep as we can get away with, but uh, we'll go ahead and just show you this and then we'll get these planting holes or at least get the planting holes marked so we can get ready to plant. All right, guys, we've got our planting holes in and uh, they're just, they're not dug all the way to depth. They're just marked so we know where to put the plants. But Tina's gonna split the split the slips up so we can both start planting. But uh, we'll uh, bring you back when we get a little bit closer. But we'll get these in the ground and then uh, we'll show you what they look like. All right, I'm gonna cut back in here real quick. I wanted to give you a good look at these slips. They're really nice slips that we got from Myers Farm. But uh, they got nice roots on them. We're uh, real happy with them. But we'll go ahead and get these started in the ground 
and uh, we'll bring you back once we get them in the planting holes. But we went all the way around the circles with the ruler and uh, dug our starters, so we'll know where to plant them. All right, guys, we'll bring you in and show you how we plant them. Tina's going to dig that hole. You see she was almost in up to her elbow. We shove them in as deep as we can without breaking them all. And we're just leaving the leaves in the top stick out. So she's got better than half of that slip down in there and the roots at the bottom. You want them as good and deep as you can get them. We'll see if we can follow her along here and on another one. But she'll, uh, she'll dig down as deep as she can go without burying the whole slip. Put it in there and cover her up. That's all it takes. Alrighty guys, thought I'd bring you back in here and we take a look at the spacing. Just kind of how it turned out. Uh, they're about a foot apart and about a foot between the rows. That should give them just enough room to grow. They're in here a little tight, but uh, should be just about right. So we'll find out at uh, harvest time like everybody else. We'll follow them along through the season. But I'll bring you back in. We got to get these watered in. I'll, I'll probably come in for one last shot to show you that. But uh, there you go, there's the space thing and the slips are in the ground. All right guys, I'm bringing back in. About the last thing we have to do is just get them watered in good. Now, the bed got rained on day four yesterday, so it's good and, uh, good and uh, moist down deep, but uh, we need to get it wet on top here. So we're gonna give it a good, she's got it on a real light spray, so it doesn't knock beat all the plants all over. But we're going to give it a good soak and then we're going to let it sit for a little bit. Peat moss has a lot of trouble picking up moisture and there's a lot of peat in our mixture. So what we're going to do is we'll let it soak for a little bit. We'll come back out and water it again, let it soak a little bit and water it again. But uh, even though this is a water trough, we've uh, removed the drain plug and put the, the drain plugs actually on the back side there. But I removed the drain plug. So even if we get too much water in there, it can drain. But uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure that this uh, peat moss is wet, good and deep. So say hi to everybody, T. Don't spray me. <laughs> Be careful with the hose. We'll end up in a wet t-shirt contest. Yeah. But uh, all right, guys, we're going to go ahead and uh, we'll call this a wrap. I'll get up here on the porch and uh, wish you well here in just a second. All right, guys, that's about going to wrap it up for today's video. We got the sweet potatoes in. And uh, they've started to lay down on us a little bit. They, uh, they don't like the heat, so we're going to have to keep them watered until they catch on. But when you plant your sweet potatoes, you can expect that. They're going to lay down. They're going to look like they're going to die. They're going to cry and cry for more and more water. But uh, you just keep watering them, and they'll stand back up for you. They are uh, pretty hard to kill them. They'll, they'll catch on even if they didn't have roots. They'll, they'll grow some. You just keep them, keep them wet until they do. So... But we've got the sweet potatoes in and uh, they're looking good. So we're gonna, we're gonna ask you if you enjoyed the channel here, please uh, subscribe. And down next to the subscribe button is a bell. If you'll ring that bell, that'll send you notifications whenever we release a new video. And uh, it's a great way to keep up with the channel. And uh, while, I'm, while I'm thinking of it, guys, if you, uh, if you wanna know more about the soil that we planted them in, um, a lot of people are new to the channel. So we've got a gardening playlist. I'm gonna put a link to that up here in the corner and you guys can go check out that gardening playlist. It's got all of our videos um, that you know have to do with the garden. Now we've got other playlists down there that have to do with the chickens and projects around the, around the homestead here. But uh, if you guys wanna check out that gardening playlist, I'll put the link up above and uh, you can go see what kind of soil mix we used for it, why we did what we did, why we, uh, why we used phosphorus down below by the potatoes and nitrogen up by the surface for the plant. And uh, you know, just some other general tips and tricks that'll help you make your way through the garden this year. So we do appreciate you guys coming by the channel. We hope you'll give the video a thumbs up and uh, leave us a comment down below. And if you have any questions about the soil or sweet potatoes or just general planting in your garden, then uh, put those down below and I try to get to all the questions, if not all the comments. So it um, takes a little while and I usually do it late in the evening. So you may see your response the next day, but I try to get to all of them. So we appreciate you guys coming by the channel. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll catch you in the next one.